Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how to set user password policies in Group Policy Management for Windows Server with Active Directory as well. Okay, we need to get to this screen. How do we get there? Very simply, press Window and R, and then Windows and R, and then gplc.msc, click OK, you get here, and now we go to the default domain policy. Okay, click on edit, and we get to the group policy management editor. Click on policies, click on Windows settings, click on security settings, account policies, password policy. Okay, now if we want to make sure that the user cannot use the same password again and again, okay, we can set a uh, remember password history. Okay, on a domain controller, the default is 24. Okay, on a standalone domain, it's actually zero. So for example, if we want to make sure that they couldn't go back to the same password for at least two or three resets, okay, we could keep a number over there. All right, what we're gonna do is stay with the default over here, just for today. Minimum password age, I mean, maximum password age, basically every 45 days or 30 days, the user will get a warning saying they need to reset their password, otherwise they won't be able to log in. Okay, so that's that. It'll ensure that they need to change their password every 45 days. We'll go for that. Minimum password age. So basically, if you have it at zero, they can reset their password immediately. Okay, if you keep it at, say, shall we say seven days, for the next seven days after a password change, they will not be able to change it again. Okay, so we keep seven. Minimum password length, you might want to define it like 8 characters, 10 characters, passwords must meet complexity, you might want to keep that as enabled. We're just using a simple demo machine today, so that's fine. Okay, now um, complexity requirements like uppercase, lowercase, numbers, that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching.